Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to this video series on how to install and use Ansible. While we made this series for Nagios users, anyone who has an interest in installing and using Ansible in their environment will benefit from watching this series. Specific to Nagios users, what we're going to do in this series is show you step by step how to get Ansible set up so that you can use the existing Ansible deployment automation that we already distribute on Nagios XI. So basically, we're going to show you two things. We're going to show you how to set up your control machine, and then we're going to cover some other key concepts. So, what is an Ansible control machine? Well, basically, an Ansible control machine is any Linux machine with Ansible installed. Installing Ansible as a control machine in Windows is currently not supported. Additionally, the use of Ansible in a Windows environment requires a lot of additional work on the environment itself. So we're going to focus specifically on Linux and Linux environments in this series. Regarding your Linux environment, you need two things. The first is going to be SSH, and the second is going to be Python, and you're going to need that on all of your target machines. The good news is that if you don't have Python installed in your environment, once you have your Ansible control machine, we can use that to install Python on your target machines. And the automation that the Nagios XI deployment uses definitely uses Python, so we will need to get that taken care of. For those of you who have SE Linux enabled in your environments, you will need to install lib SE Linux Python in your environment in order to work with enabled SE Linux. So once you have your Ansible control machine installed, the next thing we're going to have to do is figure out how to talk to those other machines. So in the next video, we are going to show you how to use SSH keys to make your automation and your connection really, really simple. Thanks for watching.